Fresh Cut Friday. You know the drill. Every Friday I get a haircut for two reasons. One, I like the way it makes me feel. Secondly, I gotta look presentable on social media, right? So this is my job. I think I see it nowadays. A lot of people, they struggle. Look a couple goals that in the wheelchair with each other that's what me and uh, me and the missus are gonna do but i see a lot of people they they struggle during a bulk to gain body fat and they don't like the way that they look like especially in the face when the cheeks get a lot more softer and rounder little things like getting a haircut little things like looking after your skin getting a sunbed not that i'm condoning sunbed can make a massive difference in terms of how you feel within yourself and i certainly believe for me getting a haircut makes me feel better and i feel more content within my own skin as hippie as that uh, sometimes sounds so try it honestly try it look after yourself a little bit more and if you look after this you're going to feel much better about yourself which is going to allow you to push to your long-term goal top tip from the Geordie boy always use the table toilet if it's free because they're clean it's got a mirror in it as well and there's always toilet paper in case you need to shit <laughs> you know what i need <laughs> Second week being here and look at that. Fucking nailed. Absolutely nailed the cream of rice game. Wherever we are, we fucking nail it. Had a few people in my recent vlog ask me about my meal prep bag and where I got it from. So I actually got it from Amazon. Probably try and link it down below in the description. I've used it since my 2019 prep, funny enough, and it's still stuck around till today. Got two little compartments on the side of it, which is really handy for like little bits. As you can see, I got my scales in there. Got some other bits, like some other Tupperware. And then obviously in the middle bit, it's got my main sort of main sort of pots and pots, main sort of tubs and shit. It comes with three tubs and it also comes with these little ice packs as well, which are really, really handy. Well worth the investment if you are obviously traveling traveling about here and there like I am and you want to keep on plan. Plan of action, done some work. Now we need to head to Nespresso as I bought the wrong fucking size mugs. I came here last week, I bought wrong fucking sizes, didn't I? Like a right tip. And then I'm going to do a little bit of shopping because I've been enjoying clothes shopping recently. Then I'm going to go train push. Could I get the salty caramel brownie donut please? Can I also grab the chocolate chip cookie dough vegan one as well? Um, and I don't mind them going in the same box, but could I get the Bueno field one as well, please. Yeah, why not then? Um, yes, please, thank you. We'll come back to the... Uh... Galaxy and caramel field one as well, please. Thank you so much. Every time I come to Meadow Hall, I always grab myself these homemade, just for you, donuts. Very much looking forward to these. I'll show you what I got when I get back. They are fucking sick. Next stop is Nespresso, as I bought the wrong cups. Got myself a little coffee set. Very nice, can't wait for coffees in the morning now, I'll tell you. And then I got two flavors, so I got the new Christmas special one, the hazelnut, which I'm really looking forward to trying. And then also stocked up on my favorite, because why the fuck not, the caramel cookie. So we've got hazelnut, and then we've got caramel cookie. So I'm gonna try this one tomorrow morning. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. I also stopped off in Zara and grabbed myself this coat. I really like it. I like the little stitching it's got on the side there. Got here, bit on the sleeve it's got there. Really like that, so gonna wear that tomorrow night when me and the missus go out for sushi as well, which should be nice. So, plan of action. We're off to the fucking gym, Kimmy! Let's fucking do this. I've got a new pre-workout to try today. This one is called Smash Pre-Workout. Watermelon candy. If I can fucking open it, Jesus Christ. Get off me. Of course, Supplement Mad, George Ted, come on. Let's get this fucking party started. With a body. You know, it's packed with two big cylinders. They wrapped their phones and wet out innocence. How could I rate these idiots? Tissue, you better need more than tissue. All of these lines are a fucking issue. Talk this shit when the free dude hits you. Ted with a shiny bell now, he's the same colour as poppies. That Kermit, chunky shovel made of vermin. Music on! Chunky shovel made Guys, you know that drive to the gym where you're playing good music, you've got goosebumps on the back of your neck, your hairs are standing up on your fucking arm. 
Ah, uh, I love this moment of my day. It's like my favorite part of the day. Like, I just so, I just look forward to it. Like the first thing I do when I wake up, gym, what am I training today? Last thing before I go to bed, what am I training the next following day? Ah, uh, love it. Absolutely love it. Wouldn't change it for the world. Don't follow the light, just follow my voice cause his heart reached up in my man. New day's time was coming. Just arrived at Ultraflex for push. Gonna give you a little review quickly, a taste test review anyway, of the watermelon candy smash pre-workout. As I said earlier, if you didn't hear, it has 150 milligrams of caffeine, so not crazy amount. I'm not like a stim junkie. I don't eat like a 400, 500 meg fucking pre-workout, get off my tits sort of guy. That That's not me. Little taste test. Watermelon candy. It's fucking delicious. I'll be totally honest with you guys. It's, it's all right. I'm not really bothered about tasting. Like, as long as it does the fucking job right, that's all I care about. It could taste utter. I think alpha dark side of taste. It tastes like fucking medicine, like cowpole. You know, like really disgusting fucking medicine or cowpole you used to drink when you were younger. It tastes a bit like that. It did it taste like shit. However, it's an amazing pre-workout. So I don't really care too much about the taste. I'll be honest with you. It ain't great. It's not the best tasting pre-workout I've ever had. However, that's just my opinion. So try it for yourself. Supplement Mad, George 10. There's your little plug for today. Gonna drink this. Get my night in the game, and then we're gonna go in and fucking kill it. I've got incline dumbbell press today, which I'm really looking forward to. So good to be back on actual dumbbell movements rather than just doing boring machines all the time. Not that I don't like machines, but it's nice to. Anyway, cheers on that. Let's get in the fucking gym. Gotta grow, Georgie boy. Can't be small anymore. Not now, anyway. Not fucking now. Not now. All this test in my body. Not now. To the kids that call you OG Mountain. I could have done that. in Ultraflex, the Mecca. So at the moment, long story short, I come over to Rotherham to get a haircut. And I use that sort of opportunity to come over and train still because it's still a part of my heart, Ultraflex, even though I'm not trained out of here full time at the moment, which I'll, I'll dive into in another video. I don't need to explain too much about that. Just let you know that I'm happy. I'm in a, a good spot with life and all that sort of shit. First time I'm actually gonna be using some elbow sleeves. I've never used elbow sleeves in the past. These are the single ply Hercules strength shop ones, which I got. So it'll be interesting to see what these are like. I'm a size large for reference if anyone gives a shit. I'm gonna try this on my pressing movements today, compound work, and see if it just helps at all. See if I feel more comfortable, more confident as well. With a, a cuff lateral raise, incline dumbbell press, prime plate loaded shoulder press, dip machine, prime lateral raise, prime pec deck, tricep press down, and then I'm gonna go into a overhead extension. So looking forward to that. And in the meantime, we're gonna do some ab work at the end, all that sort of good stuff. Nut is fucking on your time. Let's fucking get it. Off season begins, baby. Test is kicking in. Come on, where's the fucking drugs? Things first, let's talk about facts and works. Your boy at all, smash no works. Talk about guns, we on that work. Never. And to make shit worse, I got all five, that's rule blood first. He got ringed and he got burst. Next outcome, getting put in the dirt. Dead How boy. the fuck are they king of this? How? When none of them's king and shit. Pussy. It was me who got eh. man yitch that yitch in front of his bitch. Oh no. Now we glad we bruised that witch. Spot me your up, man's letting it rip. rip what is one, no setting it this bitch. Yeah. Great little finisher for your cuff lateral raise stuff. It's going into partial reps, so 10 partial reps, and then a 10 second isometric hold to finish. So honestly, the volume that I get from that, the pump that I get from that is fucking insane. So try it if you want to add some intensity to your cuff lateral raise work. Tiger bomb. Type it in on YouTube. Type it in on Google, you probably get it from Amazon. It's like a deep heat cream. Apply it to areas that at the moment my front delt's a little bit tight, so I just applied a little bit to that area. Top tip from me, make sure you wash your hands, because if you don't, and then you go for a piss, you're gonna have a fucking stinging knob. Had it before. Oh, my knob was like, I was like, why is my knob tingling like this? And all of a sudden, I forgot, I forgot to wash my hands, so this stuff is very strong. I can smell it right now. It's many supermarkets as well, if you can't get it from Amazon. Just type in Tiger Balm. I like the red one, they do a white and red one. I like the red one. No, I've reason other than it's just red, but I like red. I touched it, telling you this, yo.
Punching his big mouth. Big mouth. Hey, and go. Got ying down. Ying and, down. And, and a white boy got ying down. Ying One down. trash gate boy still got ying down. Ying down. Do no nut case he's been round. <laughs> Silver up man spin round. Spin it. Either lay down or get down. It's bum with a gun man press out. Button. Chest and head got dug out. Ooh, 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 cause my brain did bug out. What? Pull out, bang no, run out. Bang this gun out to something get rub out. Rub that. Chest and head get dug out. Ooh, cause my brain did bug out. Pull out, bang no, run out. Bang this gun out to something get rub out. Rub out. I don't even know they're young G's. I don't really care for them. Fuck em. Do your research in your olders. Like, I would never ride for them. Never. One got bullied at school, and the other one used to fancy men. Fish. They've been yinged up plenty. Like, each and every one of them. Yo, go. Already got yitch. Yitch that. Yitch. So already got yitch. Yitch that. The other one is. Just for reference there, first week I did 32.5 for a set of six. I just did 38 for a set of six. So, as you can see, the food, the extra body weight, and the gear, it's all fucking hitting there now. <laughs> just added like four kilos to one session. Nuts. Yitch, but my man run off and left these kicks. Dick oh yeah, oh. Bitch, I'm my man lies, but the life he lives. I beg my name one man on the shiz and told my man don't get in the mix. Don't do it. They all got demon rams. Huh? What do you know about I, I, demon I, I, time? I, 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 I can show man demon time when it got got. It was no surprise. No surprise. Let me give you some strong advice. Them man they can't defend your life. Never. Let me give you some strong advice. Them man they can't protect your life. Never. I can do it in squads or solos. What? I'm mad in my head gone loco. Crazy. Been singing my ying like Zoro. Zoro met man jump like Pogo. He's he got left with more than cocos. Man splashed him up and he's bro bro. Splash they that. know about me and my bro. Bro, face shot get used as a logo. Boy, Don't be lazy with it. This is where you see ab development. A lot of people wonder why they diet down and they can't see their abs. Because you're not fucking training them. Train them in your bulk. That's where they're gonna grow, just like any other muscle group. Train them, train them hard, you'll see results. Simple as that, that's how I built my abs. Because I did it every fucking day. So, so I'm really aggressive today. Must be that testosterone. That, my friends, was a belter of a push session. Really into my groove now. Picked up a few bits from Tesco's on the way home. Water, of course, about for brown eggs. And some raspberries for my post-workout meal. It's fucking cream of soup. Fuck. Nah, fuck's sake. I oh, fucked it, guys. Fuck off. I'm still in that mood where if I fuck my food, it's a disaster. Ah, oh, look at this. No. Still food focusing. If you've got to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Now, I'm going to update you on one week on cycle. Well, I'm actually two and a half weeks on cycle, but I'm just going to update you over the past couple of weeks. First thing I'm going to say, I am not condoning steroids. Every single time I upload a video, you've got, you're condoning this, you're condoning that. I do not condone this. This video here is for educational purposes and just showing you what the fuck I'm doing. If you do not like it, I would love for you to follow, but I'm not going to say, look, follow me because I take steroids. If you don't want to follow it, if you're not a part of that, sort of thing I understand I get it it's kind of shone upon in bodybuilding this is for me just to showcase my journey and, and what I'm doing and I want to be a guy that is very honest and transparent about what he uses and what he does the cycle I am running at the moment is 150 milligrams of testosterone and amphate each week I will split that up into two dosages of 75 milligrams on Wednesday 75 milligrams on Saturday I am rotating at the moment between the injection in my delts and also my lats as well and next week I'm going to try rear delts I'm going to try this rear delt 
workouts next week. I'm also taking 25 milligrams of Proviron every single day. The reason the Proviron is in there is because my SHPG was high when I got my blood work done, which is basically my sex hormone binding goblin. Proviron is there to basically bring down that and basically help control estrogen a little bit more. That's the reason why the Proviron's in there. Everyone always asks me that. That is the reason. So in terms of what I'm using and how I'm injecting, so like I said, I am injecting twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. I use a one mil syringe. So this is the one mil syringe, very straightforward. Let me just show you this. This is the one mil syringe that I use, as you can see, or hopefully you can see. What I use to extract the testosterone from the vial is one of these. Now this is a 21 gauge, one and a half inch green syringe. So what I do is I pop that on top like that and then pull out 0.25 of a mil. So literally if I pull back there, that's pretty much how much testosterone. So it's very, very small. It's like an inch, if that, of oil that goes into this syringe. Very, very small amounts at this current point. So I put that on there, pull it out, and then I take this off. And what I originally was doing was I was originally using this orange needle here. Now this is a 25 one inch orange needle and I would used to inject myself with that. So if I just show you quickly, and, and this is just, you know, again, for educational and entertainment purposes only, if I just show you how big this needle is, I'm not sure if you can see that. That is how big the needle I was using originally. Now, I am not using this needle anymore, thanks to the people and everyone that follows my YouTube channel. And again, with these syringes and stuff like that, I promise you, I am not gonna be using that. What I have cross-transferred over to, this is a very small insulin needle. Now, if I just show you the sizing of this needle in comparison to the previous needle that I was using, you'll notice that this needle is a lot smaller. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. So I've been injecting now with this twice. I've done two injections with it. And honestly, I don't even feel it going into my muscle. I don't feel it at all. This has definitely felt better in terms of like, the pain that I can describe is like a, just imagine like a sharp scratch. Very, it's not painful at all. It's just a sharp scratch with a pin realistically. It's what it basically is. So now what I do is I basically use this to inject. So basically, this is, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's very, very small in comparison. And the good thing about this needle is obviously it's very small, so less likely to build up any sort of scar tissue. And for the amount that I'm using, it's perfect. Downside to me using this pin is it's very small. So when I inject the oil into my muscle, I need to do it a lot slower in comparison to the bigger needle, because obviously it's smaller. The oil has to go through this very, very tiny, very, very tiny pin. I'm not sure if you could see that. So that's what I've changed in the first couple of weeks in terms of just pins. And that is pretty much it. Obviously I've got my healthcare, my supplements, that sort of stuff that I'll go through in a separate video. At the moment in terms of like how I'm feeling and what's going on there, I feel good, you know? I think obviously one thing taken into consideration in the first week of taking steroids, I've just came out of a contest prep. So a lot of the food, the body weight that I've been eating is gonna be a massive contributing factor towards how I'm feeling. Realistically at the moment, I'm on TRT. And at the moment, I'm not gonna expect miracles. However, I do feel pumped. I do feel fuller. I do look bigger. I posted some shots on Instagram the other day and more cappy adults. My lats are a lot fuller from where I've been in injecting, where I've been injecting in them. Um, and I do feel like you've probably seen, hopefully you follow me on Instagram. My, my progression in the gym has been ridiculous. Like 20 kilos in one session, five reps up, you know, it, it, I was doing, I was doing um, single arm dumbbell row. The first week I did 45s for a set of 10. I then did 60 for a set of 15. So I did 15 kilos to a dumbbell row and five reps up. So as you can see, I'm getting strong pretty quickly. Now, is that fully down to the gear? There is obviously some element of that, yes, absolutely. But there's certainly an element of one, I'm dropping off a shit ton of diet fatigue. And two, I'm obviously eating a lot more food and I've got a lot more body weight behind me. So again, that's a big contributing factor as well. The thing that I would say to right now, the way that I'm feeling on a day-to-day -day sort of basis, I am three weeks post prep and I feel totally normal. Again. Whereas when I compared it to my 2019 prep, I felt the same way that I do now after three weeks in about six, seven months. So as you can see, my recovery from prep itself has drastically got better, which is obviously contributing towards what I'm using essentially, as well as obviously the food, the body weight, all that sort of good stuff and doing the prep properly this time. Last time I dug myself into a, a very deep hole, but the gear is obviously gonna get me back up to where I, where I should be in a lot quicker time than what I would be if I was naturally waiting for that, you know, testosterone or waiting for me to feel normal again in terms of hormones. That is pretty much it guys, you know, I would love for you to follow, I would love you. <laughs> I do love you. Do I? I love you. I would love for you to follow me on Instagram and follow the journey very closely. I'll link it down below, George Osborne 12. I really appreciate everyone's support so far on this journey. And like I said, I want to try and keep this as transparent and as honest as I possibly can. 
whilst also showing you the reality of what's going on. If you have watched today's video, please comment down below, mouse. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and as always guys, I shall see you in the next one. First things first, let's talk about facts and works. Your boy at all, match no works. Talk about guns, we on that works. Never. And to make shit worse, I've got all five, that's rule blood first. He got zoomed and he got burst. Next outcome, getting put in the dirt. Dead How boy. the fuck are they king of this?